Hey guys, and on today's video, we're gonna teach you how to purchase products from Apple.com. Anyways, let's just get started. The first thing you guys should do is create an account. So on the top right hand corner, you guys are gonna see this, click on it. Then from here, you're gonna see this list. So just sign in if you have a sign in. If you don't have an Apple ID, create one so you can create an account. Uh, I'm gonna show you right now. So let's just press on sign in. So let's say you don't have something to sign in with. You don't have an account yet. Well, even if you're buying this for a present for somebody or anything like that, I highly suggest making one so you guys can track and just make sure where your package is at, how that's going, how it's this shipping going. Plus, if you need to return something, it's just easier. It makes your whole life easier, just create an account. Anyways, right down here, you guys are gonna see this. Do not have an app ID, just create one. So tap there if you don't have one. Then from here, just fill up all this information to create your Apple ID. Obviously you need an email, but make sure that password that you're creating for your Apple ID is different from your email, just so it's safer. You could technically use it. Anyways, you also need to verify and down here below, you guys are gonna see this, typing whatever characters you guys see. Then all the way down, just press on continue. Anyways, once you guys have signed in, here's the fun part, you get to shop. So go ahead and go into whatever you guys want. What I don't like myself going into is the store right away. If you know what you're going for, just go for it. Go into iPad, for example, if that's what you want. Click on iPad. Then you guys are gonna see what iPads are available at the moment. So let's just start off with the normal iPad. So here's the normal iPad. There's a bunch of colors for it. And just press on buy. On the top right hand corner, you guys are gonna see buy, press on buy. Then let me just zoom out a little bit. We're gonna see all the colors down here below. So choose whichever makes sense to you. So we're gonna choose yellow, for example. Here is the space for it. So we're gonna choose 64 gig, uh, Wi-Fi. By the way, Wi-Fi and cellular. So this means you can put a SIM card inside of it if you buy this other one. So that's good for some people that want to travel, but if you have another phone or something, you can just share that data anyways with using a hotspot. So you never see it necessary for me to buy that. A lot of people, depending what they want, sometimes that's what they need, but anyways, Wi-Fi is just Wi-Fi. I'm gonna choose that for now. Engraving, you can add engraving. I'm gonna choose no engraving. Uh, right here, you can add your Apple Pencil with it. So it's gonna tell you which ones are available and are gonna work with this iPad. So in this case, it does tell me that USB-C plus that Pencil first generation works with it, which is interesting that the first generation still works with a new iPad. Um, that's if you guys want that, don't need it. And down here below, you can add a keyboard if you guys want. There's a trade-in. But before I keep going, I forgot to put no Apple Pencil, no keyboard, no trade-in. And here's your Apple Care Plus. This used to be awesome. Now it's not that great, but it's not that bad either. They did improve on it when they made it worse. Now it's a little bit better. <laughs> so it's unlimited repairs. But anyways, once you repair something, you will notice that they'll charge you something regardless. So I think if you're gonna move your iPad a lot, it's worth it to get that. If you're not, then don't. So I'm not gonna get Apple Care Plus because it's not gonna leave my house that much. It's very rare. Plus, I always have cases for them. I've never broken an iPad in my life. Anyways, right here is the important part. You have delivery. So it's usually free. So it'll be weird that it's not. You can get delivery dates right now, but really once you go into the checkout, that's when you're gonna see an exact date, almost exact date. And then pick up. Pick up, sometimes they charge you. And that means you have to go to the store to pick it up. I usually just do shipping. That's what I suggest. So we're gonna add it to our bag, regardless whichever you guys wanna choose, we can choose that later on. So right now at this point, we have that in our bag. So let's just check out our bag. I'm gonna show you what's in there. So review bag. And right here, we're gonna see this. So we have one, all good. We have everything that we wanted. And down here below, you can enter your postal code, all right, or your zip code so you guys can see how much tax that is. For me, that's 13%, so I kinda get an idea. And you can check out with Apple Pay or just check out, press check out for a credit card, okay? So um, let's say you guys change your mind, you guys wanna use your Apple Pay later on, you can. So don't worry about it, you don't have to choose Apple Pay right away, you can just go to check out, make sure everything's good, your address is fine, then check out with Apple Pay if you guys want that. Apple Pay, as you guys know, it's still linked up with your credit card, so it could be the exact same thing. Anyways, let's just scroll down because we're gonna see more accessories and all that stuff. But at this point in time, just check out or if you guys wanna add more stuff, you can. So you can always go back so we can go into iPad. Uh, we can order an iPad Air, for example. So we can go on 
and just wait for this to load. <laughs> then you can scroll down, press on buy, and then you guys can see exactly what you want. So maybe you want the 11 inch, 13 inch, depends what you're going for. Uh, when it comes down to iPad Airs, I find a lot of people like the smaller size, but some like the 13 inch as well. So we're gonna choose a space gray this time. I'm gonna choose 128 gig, Wi-Fi only, of course. No engraving, thank you. No Apple Pencil, no keyboard, no trade-in, and we don't need Apple Care. That's for sure. So we're gonna add that to our bag. Now let's say you guys are not 100% sure if you guys want the 11 inch, 13 inch. You can always go back to your bag and erase that and then just get 13 inch. So if you go into iPad Air, we could go on, scroll down again, press and buy, and then we can take out anything that we won't, don't want later on. So it could do a 13 inch. I can choose a starlight, for example. I can go and choose the exact same thing. No engraving, no Apple Pencil, no keyboard, no trade-in, and no Apple Care Plus. From down here, I can add it to my bag. And here we go, I can review my bag. Or again, I could just go back. Let's say we want an iPad Pro. Well, it's gonna be the exact same thing. We can scroll down just a little bit and we will see this loading in by. Then from here, choose same thing. We have those two options. So we're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with silver, smaller, uh, standard glass in this case, Wi-Fi, no engraving, and no pencil, no keyboard, no trade-in, and of course, no Apple Care Plus. So right now we can add this to our bag. It's gonna add everything that we selected. So again, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Just to show you guys an example, well, you have to let this load in a little bit, then finally press and buy. Then we're gonna choose the 13 inch. We're gonna go with space black this time. We're gonna go with the exact same thing, so standard glass. I was thinking of the other glass, but we're just gonna leave that as is for now. No engraving, no Apple Pencil, no keyboard, no trade-in, and absolutely no Apple Care Plus. We're gonna add that to our bag. Now don't get me wrong, for lots of people, Apple Care Plus could be very, very good buy. For me, never. And what we're missing, well, in my case, an Apple Pencil. So we're gonna shop and we're gonna see which Apple Pencil is compatible. So we are shopping for the latest Apple Pencil because we're buying the latest stuff. So we're gonna go on and just buy the latest one, add it to our bag. And in this case, I don't see any engraving that I need to add onto it. So we're good to go. So we can review our bag in this case. So we have that Apple Pencil. We've got the iPad Pro, iPad Pro 11. We got an iPad Air, iPad Air 11, yep. We got the regular iPad and that's it. And that's about $5,000. So at this point in time, we can go on and check out. So right down here below, we're just gonna click on check out. And then from here, you're gonna see this, your whole list. And whether you guys want to go on and have, have it delivered to a store, like I mentioned before, uh, sometimes they charge you, this time it's $13, or ha have it delivered to your house, it's free. So I'm just gonna do it to my house, it's free, it's only gonna take four days, hopefully just four days, we're gonna continue to shipping. Remember, the more you customize an iPad or anything from apple.com, the longer it's gonna take to get to you. I bought pretty standard things, so that's why they're getting to me pretty fast, actually. So we're gonna continue to shipping address. So just make sure your address is fine, put in your phone number and then continue to payment. From here, like I mentioned before, we can just choose credit card or Apple Pay. So you still have those two options. So let's say you chose credit card. It does give me the option for debit card, by the way. So just put in your information and then down here below, make sure that billing address is fine. Once you put in that information, scroll all the way down and review your order. Now let's say you guys wanted to use Apple Pay. You guys can do that too. Just click on Apple Pay, then going to review your order. It's gonna tell you this, are you ready to place this order? So just keep scrolling down. And if you go all the way down, you guys are gonna see this, your total. So in this case, because of tax and everything, it's gonna be $6,000. We can continue with Apple Pay at this point in time. Once you're done with the payment, you're gonna see this and you will be seeing an email soon. You should just take one to two minutes maximum. You should receive an email or check out your spam mail. Right now, you should see this, that you're all done. 
your order number, your email right here. Just So just keep your order number just in case you don't get that email. You do need that. But anyways, I did make you guys make an Apple ID so you guys can always check out your order there and make sure what's going on with it. If it's processing, they shipped it or what happened. Sometimes, and I get this question a lot, when do they actually ship this? Sometimes they tell you it's gonna be sent to your house by the fourth, let's say, of whatever month. And it's already the third and they're still processing, you don't understand. Well, that day, they could actually say shipped as well. You could change to shipped and it might get to you on time. And by when I say might, I most likely it will be. On my case, I've never had a shipment that has gone late without notice. So they will let you know if something's gonna be late. Other than that, don't worry about it if it's processing for a very long time. As far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.